lovely people and welcome back to this week's new video i'm doing a reading vlog very strangely starting it on friday i was so tired last night and so i went to bed at like one o'clock i got over 11 hours of sleep and it was still difficult for me to wake up in the morning and i've been listening to my audiobook i started it on like tuesday i think i've been listening to romancing the duke by tessa dare i've been listening to it on libby so that i could borrow it from my library which has been really really helpful i do also want to read a book physically so i have some library books i need to get through it's either going to be jeffrey deaver's the 12th card this is the sixth book in the lincoln rhyme series which is like oh my god when am i literally not vlogging when i have lincoln rhyme books and it matches me beneath the sugar sky by sean mcguire because it's so short this whole series this whole what's it called series has not been my favorite the every heart of doorway series i've been the way we're children that's what it's called i've been giving them like three stars each but i'm interested in the stories like the world but it's just that everything just seems mediocre and i wish that the books were longer but i still am interested in reading this i first started reading it for a smasher pass series for riley oh while i was getting dressed and like putting my face on i was listening to my audiobook and koda comes back from his shower and i'm basically forcing him to listen to this audiobook with me i'm now 46 percent of the way through so i got 10 percent from last night and koda is like laughing and he's annoyed because he doesn't want to listen to these people like making out and groping each other and i'm realizing that this is what i'm reading but it just sounds a little bit more cheesy because it's in an audiobook and like somebody's reading it to me not that i'm not enjoying the book and i'm actually oh i'm actually 50 percent of the way through i'm retaining a lot of the information much better than i thought i would be i was afraid that next day i would listen to the audiobook and for completely forget where i was up to but i'm remembering things i'm having a little difficulty with character names like i know who the main characters are izzy and ransom but the side characters like i only know Duncan, the vicar's daughter. I don't, I don't, I forgot her name. Other than that, it's going really well. And Coda picked the book for me to read physically, and that's Beneath the Sugar Sky. Pretty good reading day so far. The audiobook helps with that. <laughs> It's a crazy night today. The restaurant was really slow. We made the announcement today that we were closing for two weeks, at least until April. I got an email from my internship saying we're going to be working from home. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about my books because I've been listening to Romancing the Duke and I was able to read like the tiniest bit of Beneath the Sugar Sky and I realized I didn't talk to you guys about what these books are about. I've gotten a pretty decent way through this book, Romancing the Duke. I I'm a little frustrated that I can't tell how many pages I have been reading, but I'm 69% of the way through LOL while I'm in the middle pause between their sex scene. I read maybe like 30% of the way through today. This book is about Izzy and her father was a famous author. Her father died and she's left with nothing, but one of her godfathers left her some property and she goes there to find it already occupied by this man, Ransom, who was injured and is sort of dead to society because he never leaves the house. He doesn't socialize anymore since his injury. He is part blind. She is this young naive girl who has no experience in life but her father wrote stories based on her so she's known to this world as this maiden who gets rescued and she has all these romances and she doesn't know what that is. She was always seen as the ugly duckling or something and she's finally getting to experience these things with ransom or romance at least. I'm enjoying it but because because it's an audiobook, it's my very first audiobook ever, except for Harry Potter. I'm listening to Jim Dale's soothing voice narrate it, and my mom made us listen to them while we followed along with the book so that we could learn. So that was the only experience I had, and Jim Dale's voice just set a really high bar for me that I haven't been able to listen to anything else, but I decided to give Romancing the Duke a try because a lot of the Tessa Dare books at the library are not available physically, and I have read all the ones physically. The other ones are only available via ebook and audiobook. It's a little weird and it's making the romance books, at least adult romance books, even cheesier than they already might be. So that's weird, especially listening to the sex scenes. But so far, it's not that bad. Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shawnee McGuire is the third book in the Wayward Children series. And this book is actually about Rini. She lands in, like, literally from the sky. She, like, falls out of the sky at the home for Wayward Children. And she's actually Sumi's mother who dies. But somehow, this teenager is alive. She's here trying to look for her mother. Who copied him?
Yesterday, I was able to read about 70 pages, and so far, in totality for this vlog, I have read 118 pages physically, and I have been listening to Romancing the Duke, maybe like 30-40% of it. I should be finished with that pretty quickly. I want to finish Beneath the Sugar Sky today because I just have 60 pages left. They have gone into this nonsense world with Rainy. They made it to overthrow the Queen of Cakes because they need to undo this to bring Sumi back. Because of Sumi's death, everything is kind of going back to the way it was before Sumi killed the Queen of Cakes. In terms of romancing the Duke, to eat our staff meal. I finished Beneath the Sugar Sky and I gave it 3.5 stars. I think I enjoyed it more than the last book and I was reading it was always review of this and I was realizing that I actually agree with her review that I enjoy the idea of the books like rather than the physical plot but I did give it 3.5 stars which I think is the highest rating that I've given the series so far. I got off super early from work and since I had finished Beneath the Sugar Sky, listened to Romancing the Duke the entire way home. I'm 92% of the way through. I'm listening to it on two times speed and I have 43 minutes and 10 seconds left. I have like 20 minutes or so left, so I think I definitely want to finish that tonight. It's weird because it's a romance book, especially an adult romance that's smutty. So it's a little strange listening to it on audio, but I'm definitely into it more than I thought I would be. I'm retaining a lot of the information. I'm following the storyline. I still definitely would say that I prefer having the physical copy more, but I think this has opened a new door for me. Libraries have decided to close. I received numerous emails saying they're going to reduce hours, all events are canceled, like classes that they hold, but I actually received one today saying that they're going to be closing until March 31st, so they're extending due dates and stuff like that until April 6th. I'm glad that I have a huge stack of books to read and also my giant TV BR pile that I still have not gotten to here. I need to add my new book of the month that needs to go at the top of the pile. I do have quite a lot of books because that's not even all of it. I still have books on my shelf in my sister's room that I haven't gotten to at all. Today I started a new book. I got to wake up a little bit later than usual and go to the internship a little bit later because I was told to avoid rush hour. I started the 12th card, 92 pages through. Hiller is targeting this high school girl in Harlem who is researching one of her past ancestors who is a freed slave for a school project. So they're looking into what buried secrets from 140 years ago could have an assassin out for innocent blood. And what chilling message is hidden in his calling card, the, the hanged man of the tarot deck? Rhyme must anticipate the next strike or become history. And I was told from Libby, the Overdrive app from the library, the public library, that the new book that I put on hold in An Absent Dream, which is book number four in the Wayward Children series, is available. So I think I'm going to get started on that. Good morning. I'm working from home. My hours got switched from the afternoon of 1.30 to 5.30 to 9 to 1 o'clock. Really hard to do this. Also because I'm like really frustrated with my boss at my internship. Ever since I decided what date I was going to quit this internship, my mindset has just been on quitting mode, which is not good. Yesterday, I did the calculations and I finished two books so far. I read 174 pages because I finished Beneath the Sugar Sky and I also finished Romancing the Duke, which I don't know what how many pages that is, but I did finish two books. I didn't read any more of the 12th card, but what I did do, I couldn't fall asleep last night. I went on Libby. I was notified that In an Absent Dream is now available by Sean and McGuire, so I can start the fourth book to the Wayward Children series right away if I wanted to. And because I have the astonishing color of After Out from the library, I don't know why my dumbass didn't notice my bra hanging on the doorknob, but they're clean and just sorry i was booking up a bunch of the books that i had and this is one of them i was able to get the astonishing color of after and it was available right away so i have that borrowed to listen to as well i think i'm actually getting into audiobooks which is new because i never thought that i could it definitely has to do with the voice of the narrator if i don't like them whether or not they're very good at the voices i have very high standards because jim dale who narrated harry potter the entire series i grew up on that and he did a very amazing job for all of 
of the voices they're all distinct and i just thoroughly enjoyed it as a kid and i still do so my standards are quite high so i think i'm gonna go back to getting some work done because i only have until 1 p.m and i want to get at least one thing done for today <laughs> enough i'm headed out i do need to go to the pharmacy but i actually have an appointment today which just happened sort of suddenly because the restaurant is closed and i basically won't be making money number one my weekend is free and number two i have will be doing nothing and i made my rover calendar available just in case if you don't know it's a dog sitting walking like doggy daycare service also available for cats i actually have that to go to um she said she works from home so she's available anytime so i was like all right let's get it over with so Sorry, I need to get this on. I'm leaving soon and I want to be prepared. I've read like two pages today. I watched a lot of Monk. I am going to go to the pharmacy to go pick up some stuff. I have my reusable bag here now from Bug. So cute. I'll link it down below because I really like it. And I'm gonna head out. Okay, I'm gonna go see a dog. Yay. <laughs> Punishes us when it has to because the rules have to be for everyone if they're going to be for anyone. Even for kids, said Lundy. Even for kids and tourists, said Moon. I'll work off the rest of my debt and then we can practice not going into debt together, you and me. I didn't vlog at all yesterday and in order to prepare to talk to you guys right now, I was calculating how much I've read for this vlog thus far. I think today is going to be the last day because Peru's project, Reagan, is starting a readathon for over the weekend called Peru's Readathon and I wanted to participate in that and try one of her infamous weekend reading vlogs, which I have never been able to do and I wanted to document that and actually get some significant reading done, so I'm gonna do a Friday to sunday vlog anyway i have read really little for this vlog this far thus far because i've only read 397 pages tuesday i only read 20 percent and since i started the audiobook of in an absent dream i started 38 percent of that yesterday i read 110 pages of the 12th card by jeffrey deaver i have been listening to my audiobook today like you saw and because her books john and mcguire's way were children's series at least are really short i am able to get through the audiobook pretty quickly because from 38 percent that i I listened to on tuesday i'm already at 61 percent right now i have like two hours left which is basically an hour because i listened to it on two times speed this follows lundy that took a while for me to get because i kind of forgot who lundy was and i was like why did her name become lundy from eleanor west and i was getting confused but that just clicked in my head i also wasn't that attached to lundy in the beginning so i'm sort of detached from listening to this story and it might just be easier for fantasy books like this that are a little bit more complicated to read them physically though i have been saying many 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 times that i am not going to be borrowing books from the library anymore the library is closed so i'm really unable to do that except i got into audiobooks and now i've just been borrowing a bunch of audiobooks right now i have on hold three books somebody stop me this is a lot i found out about this thing through asia dang's instagram post a while ago she was working with first aid beauty to help people pay back their student loans and i am eligible for that because i graduated in 2019. I was going on to all the websites of FAFSA, Sally May, all the private ones to calculate how much in total that I have. And I go to FAFSA, I log in. It's been like over six months since I graduated and I was like, okay, why am I not receiving an email from FAFSA? I was fortunate enough to receive aid from my grandmother. She wanted to help my sister and I pay off our loans and she gave us a lot of money that helped me pay off in full my private loans that I had, which I am so grateful for. I had been making like 100 to 200 dollar payments every month because that's why like part of the reason why i got a job while i was still in college was to pay off my private loans as soon as possible so that the interest rate wouldn't go up sally may my mom paid off in total in full so i was a i just need to pay her back and i wasn't receiving anything from fafsa i logged on and it said that i have nothing which seemed a little too crazy for me because my mom was telling me that i had to pay that off too but i had only borrowed for my first year because i went to ithaca college and after 
after that I came back to the city got a job paid my tuition on my own no loans nothing and I found out I have zero FAFSA loans to pay back that I had received grants which I do not need to pay back and this is like a huge weight off of my shoulder because right now with the coronavirus and self quarantining I work at a restaurant we are shut down for the foreseeable future we were told for it would be about two weeks but we actually don't know there's no way that this virus is going to settle down within that two week span so I am basically unemployed without being able to apply for unemployment so I know this seems really braggy that I do not need to pay anything yay but this is actually a huge weight off my shoulder that I don't need to pay this that I have just just worry about saving for my future for paying for an apartment and things like that and paying my mom back and I can focus on those things and I don't have this hindering me anymore and I'm very very grateful this isn't me bragging at all I will link Asia Ding's post down below I believe they are taking submissions until April you make like a video about how your student loans have affected your life in college and life after please apply for that if you qualify I will link her post down below and the link to first aid beauties application down below please look into that we all need help right now especially with student loans there are millions of people millions of dollars of debt in student loans so please look into that if you qualify As you can tell, I'm stretching right now and I haven't in a long time. I used to dance for the majority of my life and since college, a little bit of high school, I just hadn't been dancing and I recently had been attending like these dance classes but they were actually a pop-up. They closed up shop and moved back to London. So I hadn't really been getting any movement in so I felt like stretching today while catching up on Reagan's reading vlog and I actually forgot to tell you guys that I finished my book. I'm just gonna update progress and I'm giving it two stars. I just felt really detached to it. This entire series for me has been pretty average so the two stars isn't really a surprise to me. I also didn't really know much about Lundy to begin with so I didn't really care. After stretching I realized you know if I'm gonna stretch maybe I'll fit in some workout because I'm not a workout person at all. But I've been a follower of Blogilates for a very very long time and I do some of her workouts like very very occasionally but I figured you know why not she's doing these coronavirus workouts like things you could do without equipment on her instagram so i followed her butt workout and then tacked on some of my own squats onto that and did her ab workouts i feel pretty good it might be nice to focus on this because you know i'll be at home a lot it's actually only 9 59 i just showered and i'm tucking myself into bed to just read my book until i get tired i found a new podcast of asmr asmr sounds on spotify and i've been listening to that or i listened to that to read this about an hour for each track and i actually got a lot of reading done through that almost 100 pages which is awesome so i think i might play a little bit more of that and just sleep until i knock out because i have an early morning tomorrow i'm past the halfway point for this so that's pretty good all right it's now friday morning and i'm here to wrap up my vlog i have my coffee for the morning. I've got my calculations, my reading log, and my most recent book. I also couldn't really sleep last night, so I got some reading. I also have an Oliver. He's a toy poodle. He's very excitable. He's six months old and I'm dog sitting him for the day. The first book that I was reading was actually an audiobook and that was Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare. I... Oops! Oh my god! I gave that four stars thank you my next book was beneath the sugar sky by shannon mcguire and i gave that two stars oh wait no i gave beneath the sugar sky 3.5 stars i'm still reading the 12th card by jeffrey deaver so i can't give that a rating but i am over 60 percent of the way through lastly i read another audiobook which was in an absent dream by shannon mcguire which is book number four in the wayward children series and i gave that one two stars sorry he's getting into something that is a total of four books i finished three more like three and a half fish i got cut off that is the end of the vlog i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching bye